Hi all, we're going to continue with our um, client ABC lab. Uh, in the first video we configured the route tracking. We're tracking uh, two default routes, one out to each ISP. And uh, you can see there up, show IP route track table. Right, two default routes, one going to each ISP and they're both up. So that's good. So in this one we're going to configure um, our NATs. So we need uh, NATs for our internal segment going out to the internet to overload to each interface here. We're going to do a bit of a load balance using IPSAF. So we want to overload to each of those. We have to configure a static NAT for our mail server so that uh, you know people can get in to the mail server. And we're going to give them two NATs, one on each ISP. There's a bit of redundancy for the mail server. There'll be um, you know, there'll be an MX record with two equal preference A records so that, you know, if one link's down, you can come in on the other link. Um, and we need to nat the, statically nat the firewall uh, to each here, uh, each internet, so that this firewall, uh, his IPsec tunnel will have two peers in it. He'll point to a triple one IP and a triple, or a 112 IP, so that if, uh, you know, he, he can't build a tunnel to one, he'll build to the other and a bit of redundancy for the tunnel. So we'll start with the... Uh, the net overload for our internal browsers. So we need to do an IP access list, uh, extended, we'll do 103. Uh, permit our uh, internal, um, we'll do IP, our internal subnet. Uh, going anywhere. Okay. Um, and we will do a route map. Route map, we'll call it NAT ISP1 permit match IP address 103 match interface F00. And we'll do another route map, <coughs> call it NAT ISP2. We'll match IP address again 103 and we'll do a match interface F01. Good. Now we'll do IP net inside source route map uh, net ISP. Uh, what I call it ISP one. Yeah, net ISP one um, interface F zero zero overload, and then we'll do an IP net inside source. Um, what did I do? Yeah, missed there. IP net inside source route map net isp2 interface f01 overload okay that's good let's have a quick look so our acl 103 just uh, defines our internal subnet going anywhere that's all it says right and we have uh, two route maps so we have uh, that ISP1 uh, would be our internal subnet going anywhere and also being routed to the F00 interface because again we have some IP stuff going on, load balance, we don't know which way it's going to route us. So if it happens to match that ACL and go out ISP1 and conversely for route map 2 says if you match that ACL, so 10, 10, 10 going anywhere and you're going out F01 ISP2 then because the uh, IP NAT statements if you match that first route map, then you're going to overload to the IP address on the F00 interface, and then for ISP2, you'll overload to his interface IP, right? Um, so dot one on the outside, so on the 112 and on the 111, dot one, right? So that's good. Um, now we need to do a another uh, access list. Uh, we're going to do for the mail server now. Um, IP access list. Extended, we'll do, uh, we'll call it uh, MX um, ACL. Okay, we'll do a permit IP um, from host, the mail server, 10, 10, 10, 100, you know, right here in the topology map. Um, going anywhere. Okay, and then we need to do a route map. We'll call it um, MX. Oops, oh gosh, MX, where I do I hit caps lock, MX for ISP, oh gosh, ISP1, uh, permit. 
Okay, we're gonna do a uh, match uh, IP address MX, what did I call it? ACL, and then we'll do a match uh, interface F00. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then we'll do the same. We'll do a route map MX, I, MX ISP2. We'll do a match IP address. Um, MX ACL. We'll do a match interface F01. Alright, so now we'll do an IP NAT inside static. Sorry, inside source static. Um, our mail server. And what we want it to be on the ISP1. We'll make them dot 100. And then route map. Uh, what do we call it? MXISP1, right? MX ISP1. And we'll do uh, same thing IP net inside source static for mail server to what we want on ISP2.100 again. Route map uh, MX ISP2. Okay, let's have a quick look at that. So again, we defined one ACL that just says uh, the mail server going anywhere. We called it MXISP. Uh, we called it MXACL. So our, our mail server going anywhere. We had two route maps. <clears throat> again, one for ISP1, one for ISP2. Um, there's our NATS track here, MX, right? So, um, well, that's the track. Sorry, yeah, okay. Scared me when I saw the 101. That's the wrong route map. So we've got route... Uh, route map for MXISP1 if you're matching that mail server going anywhere and you're matching this F00 interface and then conversely for I ISP2 you match that mail server going anywhere or the F01 interface um, it's and it's bound to our route map right so we're adding the mail server to this uh, IP when that route map matches you know the mail server going out ISP1 and then the same thing for ISP2, we'll net him to the ISP2 subnet. That way um, he gets the right IP when he goes out, you know, uh, depending, you know, doesn't matter which internet he goes, he'll get the correct net to the correct ISP uh, subnet. And then we need to do, similarly, we need to do an IP access list, uh, extended, we'll call it uh, firewall, firewall net. We'll do a permit IP from host our firewall going anywhere and again our firewall is on this intermediary 11.11.11 subnet right here's outsides.2 um, we'll get out of there we'll do a route map we'll call it uh, firewall ISP1 permit match IP address uh, firewall oops what I call it firewall I called it net firewall net okay that's fine Firewall ACL might have been a better one, but that's fine. Um, and match uh, interface F00. And then we need to do another route map. Getting the hang of this now, right? It's all looking familiar. Route map, firewall ISP2 permit. We're going to do a match IP address, firewall uh, net. <clears throat> and then we're going to do a match interface uh, F01. Okay, now we need to do same thing. IP net inside source static our firewall IP to what we wanted to be on the ISP one. We'll use dot fifty on either internet and then route map <coughs> uh, firewall ISP one. Right, and then we do an IP net inside source static firewall IP. And what we want to be on ISP2, we'll make them dot fifty, and then route map <coughs> firewall ISP2. Okay, um, I don't think I have time to show you because I'm uh, I'm at about I'm almost ten minutes now, um, but it's the same thing we just did for the mail server, right? We've got the ACL permitting the firewall going anywhere. Uh, we have the route map saying uh, if you're matching that ACL and F00, then you're gonna match this uh, uh, static here. Uh, the triple one uh, firewall ISP one, right? You're going to be netted to this IP. Um, it's a static, so you can get inbound access on that too, right? So that's it for our nets. 
Um, that's good to go. And we'll talk about probably IP Ceph a little bit in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.